Hey everybody, Danny Ward here. Thanks for joining us. If you've ever struggled with your ball striking or your consistency of direction with your irons or your woods, take a look at this. This is a video of Andrew, a recent student of mine, comes to see me almost ready to quit the game, striking his irons poorly, really slicing his driver. And if you have a look at his swing, you'll probably notice something a little bit strange. There's almost like a little loop in there. Now, what I want you to now look at there is this image now. Look at the difference in his swing now. Now, this was just 30 minutes later. Massive difference. Suddenly he's striking his irons much, much better. Suddenly he's getting a lovely draw with them. Now what I want to do is share with you exactly what we did because the process that we uh, went through can help any golfer, including you. If you're looking to try and improve your ball strike with your irons or your woods, you could change your swing a lot faster. He'd been trying this for two to three years, making no progress. We managed to change it in 30 minutes. Did it last? No, he came, he started to drift back to his old style, but you know what? We told him when that happens, how to get back into it. So we gave him a process. That's what I wanna share with you today. Before I do though, look, if you're new to the channel, it's one of your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. I release content just like this every week to try and help you improve your game. Plus, I always put a free downloadable practice guide in the description box below so you never have to remember a thing. So let me show you the process that we gave Andrew to tr completely transform his ball striking. Remember, he'd been trying to solve this problem for three years and he fixed it in 30 minutes. Yes, he did lose it a little bit, but we got it back by him going back into the process. I'm gonna show you that process because it's super, super valuable. But beware, it is incredibly simple and because of that, sometimes unbelievable, right? So what I want to show you is this. He had a loop in his swing. Why do people do that? Because I said, look, I actually mentioned this to him. I said, look, if we were playing tennis or you were throwing a ball and, and you were, can I ask you to hit a ball towards the target, what would you do? Well, you just do this. So the, the racket would come back here and it would go through to there. It would make no sense whatsoever to do this, would it? But why then do these things happen in all our golf swings? Weird movements that cause all these poor strikes. And for Andrew and for many of my students, it comes down to this. One, Andrew had almost forgotten about the target. He, hadn't even re he was aiming somewhere over there, but he'd forgotten about the target. He'd been focused so much on his swing mechanics and trying to solve these problems that really, if he was truly honest, he hadn't really focused on that, yeah? The second thing is, is just focusing on a target, do you think that kind of is gonna help? Yes, it does. But the third thing you need to do, as well as focusing on a target, the next thing you need to do is, is then develop a feel of what the club head is doing so that you then can say, okay, like with a racket, I can feel that my racket is kind of here, so I can move that racket towards the target. If you put anesthetic in my arm, I won't be able to feel anything, and therefore I probably won't be able to hit the ball towards what I'm trying to do, the target. So that was stage number one. I said to him, we're gonna imagine playing a bit of tennis for a second. So I got him to independently swing with independent arms. And what I want you to look at now is look at the difference in his swing. Are there any loops in his swing when he starts to swing one-handed? And what I'm doing here is, is when I got him to grip the club with one hand, I said, look, get a feel of this club face, yeah? Get a feel of the club face, and then imagine that club face going towards your target. Swinging towards your target, that's all I did, okay? No loops whatsoever in his swing. Yeah. Then I got him to do exactly the same look. Feel where the club face is. Picture your target. Swing now with your lead hand. What he's doing, unbeknown to him, he's now feeling how both his lead arm and his trail arm are both working. I showed him it on camera and he was unbelievable that there was no loop. The next thing, the next step I want you to take with this, right, super, super powerful, is I got him to hit some balls off a tee because obviously balls can be distractions. So I said, look, take the ball, I want you to hit that ball like a tennis shot, just down the fairway, yeah? So make some swings. So that's all we did. I got him to set up, hit some shots off a tee. I'll do it off the ground, but off a tee. And literally hit them forward. Nothing more complicated than that. And as he was doing this, we filmed it and we put it on camera and showed him. And I said, look, are there any loops? No, we did exactly the same with his left hand, put his lead hand in play, got him to hit some shots. I said, look, are there any loops going on? Absolutely none, why? Because you have two things in place. You have the target where you now you're aiming at. You've now got a feel of where the club face is and you're literally swinging that face and aligning that club face up through the shot or getting certainly a feel of it. Absolutely no loops. So this as a stage one, 
is an amazing exercise for you to feel what your trail arm and lead arm are doing in the golf swing. Then what's the next stage? What do you think I do? I got him to put, hold the club now in simply two hands. And I said to him, same principle. Now, if you have a preference, now you put both hands on, you might feel, oh, I felt better swinging my, with my lead hand. So maybe your focus goes on your lead hand. Just become aware of what that's doing and see if you can start to repeat the motion, right? So I got him now to swing again just off a tee, nothing fancy, literally playing the ball, look at the target and get a feel of what that lead arm is doing through the golf swing, okay? Nothing more complicated than that. And bit by bit, you can see his swing is already changing. Within 15 minutes now, we're starting to see the loop disappear. The reason being is it just didn't make any sense to come this way. Why? Because he had a target in mind which was over there. He had a feeling now of where the club face was and he simply took that feeling, well, I need to hit a ball in this direction. That's all you've got to do sometimes, yeah? And once you learn the learn feeling of this and this, you then start to apply it to this, okay? Now, do you think he lost it from time to time? Yeah, he did. So what we did was is we gave him a routine that he could take to a golf course. So I said, look, this is clearly working. You're hitting the draws now almost instantly. So how do we get into a system? Well, look, the first thing we need to do is remind your body what to do, so maybe make some swings. So we got him swing one-handed. He, he dominant and felt the most comfortable, so this is where the feeling was, so we stuck with that hand. I said, look, make some swings like this in, in your pre-shot routine, okay, where you're going, okay? And then uh, it's like going underneath as opposed to now over, it's amazing. Then put the club behind the golf ball, make your swing, get yourself set, and then just simply swing away, visualizing the target, visualizing where you want to hit that shot, okay? And it was really, honestly, as simple as that. I've got too much club for this, <laughs> for this hole. Um, but that's it, that's how we, our, how we developed it. But there was a problem. So we're going through the session, literally half an hour, we've almost done, we've finished, but this was a great thing. What often happens when you get back home? You sometimes lose it, don't you? But luckily he'd booked a couple of hours. And I said, we didn't need two hours, but we definitely need an hour. Because after about 45 minutes, he drifted back. What had happened? Well, he just started beating balls. And as he beat balls, I was like, what's going on here? So I said to him, I walked out onto the range and I said, do me a favor, can you just um, swing towards me? So I stood over here and I said, swing towards me for me. And he goes, Danny, I haven't been picking a target out. I haven't, been, I forgot that. I started, to, I don't know what I was doing. I just lost sight. Why? Because we get bored sometimes, yeah? We, so whatever you're doing, you need to put this into a system so you do not forget, yeah? As basic as it sounds, all golf really is, is having a picture of the shot you want and then being able to match or get the feel of the club head and apply that club head to the golf ball because you can, because you can feel where it is. You don't feel it, you don't have a target, or there's one missing, you're gonna be all out of sync. So we built a routine where I said, look, visualize where you want the ball to go. Get your dominant hand or the hand that you feel more comfortable at the time, start making some swings, okay? Simple as that. Visualize where you want the ball to go, get that feeling, get yourself set up, into position, and then do you know what? Just go. And look, he said, does this work with driver? Yes, it does. We got him doing exactly the same thing with his fairy woods, his driver, you name it. Everything was working unbelievably well. Could he fall back into his old habits? Of course he could, just like you could. But this is a process. Have a target in mind. Get the feel of the club head. Take simple things like tennis analogies, yeah? Literally, you wouldn't make weird things in your golf swing or in tennis. You would get this right every single time. Learn the feels. These simple things sometimes are the best things you can do. So I hope this really, really helps. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with somebody who you know is going, kind of making this way too complicated. And look, I'll put a free downloadable practice guide in the description box below. And if you're new to the channel and you like videos just like this one, come and subscribe by pressing that um, bell button as well. It's completely free to do so. But until next week, have a wonderful golfing week.